Hello again everyone. Today I'll be reviewing the Highlight MT02. This is another series from Highlight which we preview previously review. And that one is MT07. This one is MT02. This one this one came with the with the black rather flimsy plastic box it's not, it, this is not your typical pelican box of course it's, it's, I mean the clip is kind of flimsy but it's kind of nice for uh, transport inside inside we have a manual have this is actually this is actually not true the real one is supposed to be low 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 mid middle and high and there's a separate for turbo this doesn't say anything about turbo but on the other side it says this one is correct the operation is correct but the the brightness level in here and the modes are wrong they said, Highlight said they changed it at the last minute, so they should upgrade the manual too. It says 2500 lumens on turbo, so maximum lumens is 2500. It's a boost, using a boost driver, so the current will, will be regulated better than the back driver. Okay, let's see the what's inside the box. We have one green military green lanyard like this with detachable clip oh like that. It's supposed to be like probably yeah. There's a hole in here. And uh, we got two O-rings, a spare O-rings. One is bigger than the other. This one is smaller. I'm not sure which part of the flashlight this goes into. Uh, and this is all there to is. All there to is. And the flashlight, the flashlight itself. Nothing, just a high light and the black. To indicate this is the black version okay the light itself is is about let's see 13 and a half centimeters long a tad more than five inch and the diameter is almost five centimeters let's try this the tube itself is 4.48 the line is 7 9 9 centimeters well this is wrong I have to zero it up alright what is wrong with mine on Zero. Oh, I forgot to zero. <laughs> I forgot to zero my meter. Around 14 centimeters long. Uh, say 14 centimeter long. Yes. So don't be confused with the tail unscrewable cap, because if you unscrew this part, this is not where you put your batteries. Funny thing is, see, this is the back side of the battery tube. So kind of confusing at start but you'll know it um, for the high light has been making a really solid light I've owned my MT07 for maybe a month three, three weeks they've been solid light and the, the machining is good nice perfect I like the the anodizing on this light it's a matte 
black finish anodizing look tough and solid no no sharp hand or anything that will hurt your hand nothing there's a triangle shape here so yes you can tile stand it like that it will tile stand see so no problem there and we have a have a look here um, um, this is a square thread if you can see it yes this is a square thread which is really nice should be a strong thread and also anodized so this light is can be mechanically mechanically locked out so just in case if you put this on the back so you can mechanically lock out the the flashlight so it won't turn on accidentally the we have a switch here you just have to press it once at the correct timing let me get the battery i'm charging it now hold on hold a moment please all right i get the battery of the charger now this is not full yet but almost full so the battery oops sorry for the for the wobble um the battery there are three batteries one uh, there are three 18650 all facing the same the positive side is uh, facing toward the hand like so so this, this cell is running on parallel three 18650 on parallel so because this is parallel you can run one or if if you have high drain battery it might it might uh, hold enough but at least i would recommend at least two so just in, in emergency you can use only one battery if you don't have battery so i would recommend at least two but three is perfect so just be careful be sure you are running this uh, a battery with the same voltage do not use uh, an empty and a full battery on the same flashlight and configuration like this because all battery running in parallel otherwise one will be really hot because it will dump the full battery will dump into the empty one so be, be careful there make sure your battery is on the same level of charge so let's, let's try it on screw the light the thread is the thread itself is smooth nice it came with uh, with the enough grease, but I add more because I think it's not enough. Yes, like so. So the battery is inside. And to switch on the light, you just tap the this the the button is elect electronic button. It's not physical button, so you just click it once. Make sure you you time it right. If you Push it too fast, it won't turn on. Or it's too long, it won't turn on. See, it won't. It doesn't turn on. You just have to press it like that, and it switch on. So to switch on and switch off, you just press it once. It will return to the last mode that you leave it last time. To cycle through the modes, you just press and hold. This is cycling through the modes low 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 medium high low low medium high there are one mode one more mode which is turbo it's hidden not not hidden i wouldn't say it's on the separate group so to access turbo you just double click on any modes you just double click it doesn't matter whether you're on low on medium or on high as soon as, as soon as you double click the button it will go to turbo mode here we go double click there is turbo that is turbo yeah and to go back to the previous mode just tap the button again it will return to the last mode whatever mode the last one so there are other modes such as if you hold, if you hold it for four seconds it will go to stroke no two seconds it will go to stroke 
for a second it will go to battery check mode let's what try again two seconds holding stroke four seconds keep holding it it flashed three times it means the battery is let me see the manual three three flash mean it it more than the battery is above 50 percent so I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how useful it is because in, in order to uh, to go battery check mode you have to go to stroke first which is annoying like so you have to close, cover it and then you can use the battery check I'm not sure I think they prioritize the stroke mode than the rather than the battery check mode sorry um okay that's all I have to is uh, yeah the, fl the, the flashlight came with the smooth reflector and they are and the lens is covered with um, anti-reflective coating this time it's a purplish color reflection they are purple and they are other green sometimes this one is purple um, yeah this is this is because because this one is because the light is using three eighteen six fifty in parallel it has long run time compared to the two six fifty light this is uh i think this is quite really flexible light because you can at least one two or three uh, batteries the the more you have the battery in the longer it will run I've, I've run uh, on, on turbo, I've run a test, so the ambient temperature was 29, uh, 29 degrees, the room temperature here is 29 degrees, and I ran the light for 3 minutes, uh, three minutes on medium, and it climbs up from 30.6 Celsius, and, and the 2 minutes, 31.6, and the, after 3 minutes, it's at 32.6 so at the medium the light is sustainable and usable at that mode and on the high um, it starts at 32.2 and in one minute it's at, it is at 35 degrees celsius and, and two minutes it at 37 minutes uh, 37 degrees celsius and in a minute and a third in the three minutes it 37.2 degrees celsius so on high it's at 37 is quite warm in your hand probably got into 38 degrees on the on minute four so it's kind of almost uncomfortable at the high so but bear in mind when i tried the in the high mode the battery was only partially charged so keep that in mind so if you have full batteries this this might be or more likely the temperature will be higher i would say that at high temperature yeah i mean at high mode the light will will become uncomfortable after five minutes and the last one is on turbo this light is with this with the same battery voltage battery condition after one minute the head i measure the the, the temperature around around this area this is the where I'm the place where I'm measuring the temperature after minute one the head was reading 38.1 and two minutes 41.6 this is already not it won't be comfortable in your hand unless you are wearing glove but remember the temperature around inside my room is uh, 20 29 uh, degrees Celsius uh, on, on minute and three minutes it's already at 44.4 this is this is not this is already hot in your hand and four minutes 47.0 this is already hot in your hand and after five minutes you better drop it because at 50, almost 50 degrees you won't be holding the light anymore unless you are wearing rope of course but also keep in mind there was no uh, moving air or anything I just put I just placed the flashlight on the table like so 
and then I measure the temperature around. So maybe if you're holding a light like that, it will sink more heat to your hand, so it will help with cooling. So, and at the temp at the head temperature of 49, the the tube temperature here, this is where I placing my hand, is around 40 degrees. So, 40 degrees is already already warm enough for your hand so but if you live in the cold climate country maybe maybe it's all right because this is a all round temperature is around 30 degrees here so yeah i like the light this is a uh, using uh, xhp 35 cool white i can't remember the the bin when this is a uh, with the smooth reflector. It has a throwy characteristic. So it, this is almost like a. I would say for this for this size, I would say it, the, the the throw is quite good. I'll add uh, at the end of the video uh, a a beam shot of the of the light later. So be sure to check it out at the end of the video. You'll see the flash uh, the. Uh, the 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 beam shot so yeah i like the light it really nice in the hand feel solid but it's, it is heavy i don't have to measure to measure the weight but it is heavy but you can use two batteries and maybe one one batteries but i wouldn't recommend it yeah this is really nice flashlight in hand and um, i would recommend uh, if you you're looking for a small throwy light i would recommend it I'll give it a 5 out of 5 because this is a really comfortable and uh, good looking flashlight. If you want a more floody light, floody, floody light, you have Hike Light also has SC02 and the, the SC02 is a MTG2 flashlight so it's, it's a lot floodier compared to this one. Hikalight also made uh, MT01, which is the same flashlight, but with different emitters. The MT01, I, if I can remember, is using XHP50, so it will be less throwy, more floody compared to this. Probably for for uh, mid range, mid range, you, uh, the MT01 is uh, more useful compared to this, but. This is more a uh, medium to long range, I think, because if you walk around with this, the hotspot is too blinding. And you prefer, I mean, if you're doing a medium to short range, I'd, um, I would recommend the MT-01, which I will review uh, soon. So, thank you, and thank you for keeping up with me until the end, and good luck with you all. And see you again on my next review. Bye.